What is going on, Sunstar Squad? Welcome back. Episode 10 of Chain Reaction, breaking down the weekend. We spent some time out west on the Nevada California border for Huevos and Works. The Huevos race was at Sandy Valley MX in Sandy Valley, California. The Works race was at Prim, Nevada for their round 10. Starting things off on Friday night, we went to the Huevos race, which was 13 of the fastest guys on four wheels in the nation, came together for a winner take all $10,000 bracket style tournament. It was a great event. Wes Miller and the Bomb Squad racing guys did an excellent job pulling this off, as well as Sandy Valley jumping in with a last minute location change, getting the Enduro Cross section set up, which you can see these guys practicing right now. That is what I believe is Jeffrey Restrelli, as well as Bryce Ford. They're sitting there practicing it, hollering back and forth, trying to get over it. 13 of the fastest guys, though, with names including Joel Hetrick, Bryce Ford, Walker Fowler, Logan Huff, John Natale, Villa Lobos, Jeffrey Restrelli, Max Lindquist, Hunter Hart, just to name a few. There were a couple more guys there. If you want to see the whole thing, jump on over to our Instagram. There is a link in the description. If not, it's sunstar underscore EA. And we live streamed the whole thing from start to finish, all the practices. We got some interviews with the riders. It was honestly a really great event. I hope that they do it again. I would not, definitely not mind heading back out for that. Let's jump in, watch some of these guys practicing. We had some issues with the track. That tire section Logan Huff just jumped was moving, so we had to fill it with dirt. And a lot of the guys wanted a bigger run up on those big tractor tires right in front of us, so we ended up having to move the logs a little bit. But for the most part, great event, got it all figured out. Go ahead, jump over, watch the full live stream.
there practicing again. They're still in practice. Uh, these skitter tires right in front of me have uh, claimed a, a couple so far, so they're going to practice them a little bit more, and then uh, we should be getting on with the show. I'm going to switch back to the front camera. There we go. Holding. Oops. Sunday for the pro bike race I was having some battery issues with the GoPro so I couldn't get too far away from where we were pitted at I did end up getting it all sorted out a little later in the day I was able to find another battery swap them out so I could actually leave my power pack so it wasn't plugged in the whole time we got Logan Huff's pit right off to our left you can see him getting all ready to go. But the bike race, it was honestly a lot of fun. Those guys can fly through the desert. And then there was 
I could be 100% wrong, but I saw Caleb Russell there on Saturday as well as his bike, but I could not find him on Sunday, so I don't know if he actually raced or not. I hope he did. I'll have to check up on some of his stuff. As a lot of you guys know, he retired from GNCC racing, and now he's just kind of going around and doing a bunch of different events. If he did show up to this race, that's pretty awesome. Later on in the day, we had a lot of those guys that raced at the Huevos on Friday night, also raced in the Pro and Pro-Am classes on Sunday for the ATV race, and it was honestly pretty awesome. We'll jump into those starts here pretty soon. So here we have the pro ATV race. You guys just saw the starts. We have guys like Walker Fowler, John Glotta Jr., Bo Barron, Max Lindquist, Hunter Hart, Johnny Gallagher. 
out here racing. Uh, on the pro ranks, in the pro-am ranks, we have some notable names of Sunstar notoriety, I guess. We have Jeremy Ladon, as well as Grayson Eller and Dylan. I can't say his last name because I do not remember it. I do apologize. But here we have Logan Huff of Works Pro fame and Fastco getting ready to do a, a pit stop here. These guys were absolutely flying. It was an 8.2 mile course and they were racing for an hour and a half, but I believe they were doing between 8 and 10 minute lap times, which means these boys were flying. So I also live streamed this race as well as the pro bike race. They are all up on Sunstar's Instagram channel. I tried to do it live on YouTube, but YouTube was not letting me do it. Go YouTube. Anyway, we have coming up on the end here. I did hook it up to the top of Logan's van, which I thought was a pretty cool shot. You can see him coming through the hot pit. One of the weird things that I noticed works to GNCC is anybody is allowed to pit in the hot pit. They're not allowed to pit out on the track, which is weird to me, as well as there was no spectators allowed on the track, and you could not help anybody. So it's almost the exact opposite of what everybody does in GNCC. So that was a little a little different for us coming from the East Coast over to the West Coast. However, I did have a great weekend. Um, I hung out with Logan Huff and his crew from Fast Company for the majority of the weekend. Just want to give a big shout out to those guys for their hospitality. Let me kind of mill around and, and help out. If you have not met Logan yet, he's a super nice kid, very knowledgeable, and pretty easy to get a hold of if you have any questions, especially in regards to ergonomics for handlebars. In any case, we do appreciate all the hospitality from the works crew as well as Wes Miller running the Huevos. That's really all we got for this week. I appreciate you all. Take care, Sunstar Squad. Not sure what we're going to do over the winter, but uh, I guess we're going to have to talk Sean into taking the old 91 RMZ out for some snow riding. We'll see, though. Catch you guys later. Peace.